morning everybody, Scott again, Tidy Bricks Landscaping. Today we're going to have a blast at Threshold Drains. I hate this part, but I'm going to show you how to do it. I've got this side over here i got to do as well. Behind me, I've got to connect up a load of those pipes behind me. And then we're going to connect up these puppies. Some nice aluminium... Um, drainage not using the um, crappy old plastic ones anymore so yeah we're gonna go for a new type and this is where all the water has got to pour into from the drain into the hole but I gotta make the hole first I gotta connect a load of this stuff up so keep watching and I'll show you what a pain in the ass job this is so on this side of the property, I've got one echo I've got to put in there. I've got to connect up a pipe, which is going to connect up that way into there. Then this side of the property, I'm going to connect the echo up so it goes into there. I shouldn't call it echo, I should call it uh, drainage threshold, because it isn't actually echo. So this one here, I've got a choice of three pipes. And the one at the bottom is the rainwater pipe. So that's the one I've got to connect up to, otherwise the smell is going to come through. So, as you can see, this is my drain here. Basically, that hole has got to be right by there. So any of the water can drop straight through the pipe. But first of all, I have to chop some of this out so I can get that in there then cover it up then with 10 mil chippings. Right, first of all, I'm gonna drink my coffee. So this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna put this echo here, that's the corner piece. So I want from the edge of the corner piece for the hole in the new drainage system to slot down into the pipe underneath me. So this is gonna be the first one. So I need to take away and disassemble this lot first. There we go, I managed to chop that bit out. That was quite difficult because I want any room. So what I've done here, I've smoothed off the edge of the pipe as much as I possibly could. Quite tricky to do when it's in situ. And then that bend then, I'll keep that bend to connect up to that. Right, let's do this bit first. I'm also using the Osma Soluble Lubricant rather than the old fairy liquid I'm used to. Okay, just bosh that one in. Now I've got to figure out this bit. So yeah, I've got that one chopped ready. So the, this next bit's obviously the tricky bit. So there's a special collar to use. See these two collars here? See that one's got a ridge and that one doesn't. This is the one we're going to be using because this allows me to put that on there and to slide it over put this pipe next to that where it's got to be then slide it over there so it covers the both of them yeah so two different types of collars both look exactly the same but one's got a ridge and we're not using one with a ridge we're using that puppy yeah so i just connected this up i just gotta bang that over a bit more that's where that's gonna go Hey, presto. So I just chopped a bit of pipe off there. Here's my connector. That's going at this height. And then that goes over the hole. Bish, bosh. Quick interval, a quick interval for you guys to press the like button. Press button now, boop. So now I gotta fill it up with chippings. Yeah, then as soon as you finish the roll, fill it up with chippings. Right, that was possibly the easy one. Now I'm gonna have a crack at this one. I'm gonna get two in here. So this one's a bit more complicated. So yeah, down pipe, all that stuff, that's staying. I'm just gonna connect this Y with a 45, another straight bit, then a 90 to connect up to that corner. Um, so yeah, plans changed a little bit on the bends, but yeah, I got this thing going on at the moment. This seems to work well. 
I just got to sort that out, excavate that a little bit more so I can get it connected onto here. This is slightly at a bit of an angle, but that is actually fine. Because that thing goes on there, the hole connects up to that. What I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to have to take a bit of this back edge off. And then it'd be nice and flat then for the um, drainage channel to fit into it. Just had this little moment of genius. See the cover I put on there, stop any crap from falling in it. That was the top from there. I wonder if that was supposed to be. So don't forget as well, when you want to connect up the pipes, you need to smooth this edge off. Otherwise it'll butt up again to be much harder. So you know, what I use, I use my grinder. You can use a rath, I suppose, as you know, plumbers would have that type of stuff. But I'm not a plumber. Right, let's start cleaning up. So there we go, I got the little connector sorted out there. So, slidey connector, slidey connector. Move them so it comes right to the middle there. I'll put a little marker on there actually. And when I know um, it's hit that point, then I know it's centralized. Well, I must admit, ladies and gentlemen, that was a right pain in the ass. I didn't excavate enough. I. Uh, that was a struggle, but I got it in, so happy days. And this end piece now is actually a lot flatter than what it was earlier. Good stuff. Right, let's backfill it with chippings. So I've got the last little bit of echo in there now. That's for the small little bit in the corner. So I'll backfill that with chippings and we can crack on. So it's time to fit the, um, time to fit the nice threshold drain on here. So glad we're using this nice stuff. So what I've had to do, I've connected it up. I made a little notch out of there so the water can fly down there. This little bit by here, I'll just put a piece of plastic or so, something over the top of it so no cement falls into it. But yeah, so that's good. Got that sorted. Now um, we can start moving some uh, thresholds down there. My brother can bring some more hardcore in. So every connector now, from this drain, we got one of these. So that'll go half on, half off for the next one. And uh, as long as you've got, say, 50 mil cement underneath it, plonk them on, lever up, tap it down. Job's a good one. Yeah, so I just put the little connector on there. Now literally pick that up, put that on the top, nice and flush, level it up. That end's got to come down a little bit because we're aiming for two courses below DPC finished height of the uh, threshold itself. Yeah, easy enough. So what I've just realised now as well, put these end caps on first. So I am going to lift it up and try and slide that one in. All right, well, while I'm here, let's slide it in. So that pops on there. That goes down. Level across the top. Happy campers. So I come to the end piece here. It works a full one. Lush, I'm gonna trim it. And this is the end piece. I just capped it off that. They do sell these end pieces, so that's brill. Right, well, while I'm here, while you're here even, let me uh, pick it up, plunk it in. And end on there, nice. That works good there. Right, I'll level it up. And then a little bit of, a little bit of straightening to do, a little bit to me to you. But yeah, that works a dream. So we got round that corner done. We're just coming down this way now. Uh, yeah, got my nice little 90 bend. And little cut there, 190. What was lucky with this cut was, it wasn't in the middle of the grid. It was actually pretty similar to what's there already and that fits like a glove. Right, let's show you what it fits. Put that there like that. Yeah, cool. Happy days. Right, lever it up and start going that way. So yeah, coming around here nicely. So I've got this bit going on here. So yeah, the pipe sticking out of the ground is bigger than the actual pipe 
connected up to there. So what I'll do, I shall solve that problem. I shall cover it up with a piece of concrete and um, cement around it, make sure it's watertight. So there we go, that's the threshold almost done. It's a little bit by the end, but yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, this stuff, must admit. I do like it. I uh, especially like these 45s. They're cool, they look nice. Otherwise, the original idea was slot drains, and I don't think slot drains have a 45 corner. So, therefore, we're using the nice stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch the rest of the video of me laying the tiles, then uh, come back. So, regarding the path we're doing, we're using Symphony Buff. It's porcelain. And we're also using... Check out these puppies. Caught and Copper. My mate James Dodd, he's done a fair few patios with this Caught and Copper. It looks nice.